Greetings and welcome. We welcome you to this new year of 2023. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to those who are on the webinar today. We want to welcome you. And as we proceed, we want to feature the steering committee of the World Christian Leadership Conference. And we are under the direction of Dr. Ki Hoon Kim. And we are so excited to bring this first month webinar to you for this year. I am Tan Dr. Tanya Edwards, the Director of International Affairs for the World Christian Leadership Conference. And it is my pleasure to welcome each and every one of you today. So enjoy, sit back, relax, and get involved with what we are proceeding to do today. We're going to begin with our opening song. Our opening song is A Million Dreams, sung by Yasuna Takashima and Nomore. Let's begin. Thank you. Close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say I've lost my mind I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy We can live in a world that we
wonderful. Thank you so much. That is indeed a pleasure. I enjoyed that. I'm sure you did also. We will now have brief remarks and our opening prayer from Father Edgardo de Jesus. He is the parish priest of the Holy Cross Parish in Manila, Philippines. Let's welcome him at this time. A pleasant good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all people of goodwill. Rabbit symbolizes fertility, luck, and creativity. It also symbolizes compassion and intuition. It is also associated with springtime and new beginning, which means life is full of possibility. The year 2023 in Chinese New Year is year of the water rabbit. As predicted, it is a year of hope. On the other hand, black rabbit, as mentioned in the New Year's message of Mother Moon, is symbolic of silence and stillness. And I believe real peace comes from silence and stillness. In spite of the unpleasant events of the past year, silence and stillness make us reflect all our situations and we look forward to fulfill the heavenly parents' dream of peace and unity. Amid silence and stillness, we can see behind the dark clouds lies the silver linings. Silence and stillness allow us to discern the will of God. In silence and stillness, we embrace our uniqueness and differences as one people and one big family under the one banner of God. The year 2023 is to realize the dream of one big global family under one banner of God. Now is our springtime and new beginnings. Our silence and stillness can give us hope and make this reality of our dream. Mabuhay. Now we put ourselves in the presence of God. Dear Jesus, make us a channel of your peace. During this difficult time of armed conflicts, confusion, misunderstanding, self-centeredness, struggles amidst the pandemic COVID-19, empower us to bring silence, stillness, hope, healing, and harmony. Help us to embrace our differences in all our situations and all our difficulties. Help us to fulfill our dreams together, pray together, work together, build together the world of justice, compassion, and love with our heavenly parents. Lord Jesus, we dream of a unified world, a heavenly united Korea, a unified blessed families, one filial, sons and daughters, with one heart and one mind of Jesus. We pray that all may be one. Amen. The wonderful prayer. Thank you very much. And now we will have our chairman, Dr. Ki Hoon Kim. Let's welcome him at this time. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Tana Edward, uh, for your wonderful uh, emceeing uh, today, and we are always uh, grateful uh, for your for your input, uh, energy, and inspiration, uh, centering on uh, heavenly parents and true uh, parents. Uh, this is a new year, our first uh, webinar. Our World Christian Leadership Conference. Once again, good morning all participants from all around the world. Happy New Year uh, 2023 of Black uh, Rabbit Year. And we all wish uh, this new year uh, is a better and more happy year uh, than previous uh, years. I believe this is everybody's dream. We all have dreams, 
and try to realize uh, our dream in our daily uh, life. I think we just celebrated uh, Dr. Martin King's Jr. Uh, birthday and honoring about his dream, always caring uh, for the sake of others, centering on God, high value of our life. We everybody uh, must together and joyful life uh, for the sake of the world and centering on God. God-centered, high-value life uh, we've been looking for and we cherishing for and dreaming um, every day to realize. How about the uh, Jesus dream 2,000 years ago? As Matthew 4, 17 said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus' dream was no other than to build the God's kingdom on us. However, due to the people's disbelief and reject his dream, God's kingdom has not been realized yet. However, God, share with us, I have spoken and I will bring it past. I have purposed and I will do it. God, show us very clear. My dream will be realized when we all become one and we become God's sons and daughters. God, as your heavenly parent, had a dream to fulfill of his purpose of creation, the kingdom of heaven on us, last 6,000 years. Today, we invited all WCLC steering committee Christian leaders from around the world to share heavenly parents' dream how to realize centered on our vision and WCLC founders' vision uh, as well. Father Mother Moon, always looking for one family under God, how we all become brothers and sisters centering on heavenly parents. So this is our ongoing mission. This year, more than before, uh, let us come together, commit together, and make it big commitment and determination to realize uh, this God's dream and true parent's dream and everybody's dream become one family under heavenly parent. Once again, thank you very much for your participation and happy new year. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kim. Wonderful words. You've inspired me today and I know you've inspired others. Thank you so much. At this time, we are going to hear from Patriarch George Augustus Stallings Jr. who will do the reading the Bible reading and reading of True Mother's Words. He is the patriarch, the founder of the Imani Temple, African-American Catholic Congregation, and the president of Interreligious Association for Peace and Development, the IAPD of North America. Let's welcome Patriarch Stallings at this time. And let us now read from the word of God as found in the Bible in the Hebrew scriptures or the Old Testament, First Chronicles chapter 29, verses 11 through 13. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. 
For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all, and in thine hand is power and might, and in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. Now, therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy glorious name, the word of the Lord. And the words of Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, the mother of peace, from her memoir, The Mother of Peace. True love is the power that unites a man and a woman eternally. When you love each other completely, your beloved lie, your beloved lives within you, and you live within your beloved. True love is the only thing people really are seeking. It transforms every sadness and pain into joy. The fallen world programs us to think that when we give something away, it is gone. In true love, however, the more we give, the more we receive. When our mindset changes from wishing to receive love to wishing to give love, the world of peace will be at hand. Numerologically speaking, the numbers in the year 2023, when added together, equal the number of equal the number seven, which represents perfection. In perfection, there is unity, peace, and divine alignment. Uh, perfection can only be achieved when it is mindful, respectful, and appreciative another, of another's point of view that may be substantially different from our own, while at the same time celebrating those principles that bind us together in, one, in oneness. Striving for perfection means that we will lean more in the direction of understanding how to embrace one another rather than seeking to judge, criticize, or condemn the other. We are currently living in an era of human history where religious freedom is under vicious attack at many on many different fronts. Individuals and groups of people are being scrutinized and demonized unjustly for their religious convictions and the manner in which they freely choose to express their faith and support their church's missionary activities. Hmm, wow. Hmm. We had a little glitch here, one second. See if we can get it cleared up here. Hmm. Technology, technology, technology. True parents have spent their entire lives tirelessly and consistently working to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth by bringing together all of God's children under the banner of one family under God while valuing the unique contributions of each of the world's religions. They have also challenged each religious tradition to find commonality by bringing together those common elements of their faith that clearly teach that we are all created in the image and likeness of God. Divine alignment with God is achieved vertically and manifested horizontally when an individual sees another as equal to oneself and entitled to the same religious rights as others. Every person has a God-given right to exercise and practice one's belief in accordance with one's doctrine and traditions, as long as it does not infringe or stampede upon the rights and liberties of another sect. Governments must be held accountable and called to task if they restrict or encumber, encumber in any way the exercise of religious freedom in any segment of our society. We must all rise up and stand together to protect and defend the religious rights of others in following the dictates of their conscience 
when it comes to their choice of embracing a particular belief system, not to do so would be to fan the flames of anarchy and lead to a gross miscarriage of justice. When injustice prevails, there can be no perfection. In the words of the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. If we as WCLC are to realize heavenly parents' dream, we must seek to unite and identify with those who have been the victims of injustice and persecution based solely on their religious convictions. In the eminent words of True Father, the Reverend Dr. Ma the Reverend Dr. Sum Young Moon, the hope of all ages is a unified world of peace. There can be no peace if there are places in our world that crush freedom of expression. It was Pope Paul VI who declared, if you want peace, then work for justice. Justice requires and demands that all people be given the divine right to decide and choose what faith expression works best for them in achieving the purpose for which they were born. In this year of perfection, 2023, may we, re, may we as members of the World Christian Leadership Conference unite in oneness by transcending borders of denomination, language, race, creed, and culture. Let us realize our heavenly parents' dream in becoming united, blessed families and Chongbo couples by uniting with True Mother. And in that way, we can newly cherish and embrace people in all situations, regardless of the way in which they choose to express or manifest their religious convictions and unite to become one universal family under God. Thank you. Thank you, Patriarch George Stallings. What a wonderful message. Thank you so much. And now we are have something very special for each one of you. And that is True Mother has given us a New Year's message. Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, Mother of Peace, founder of the World Christian Leadership Conference, the year to realize Heavenly Parents' Dream, which is our theme, but we want to hear from True Mother. Let us hear at this time. Saranganan, Chun Sege, Chidoja, Chukpoka Jung, Shiku Yarabun, Yarabune. 간절한 소망이 실체적으로 희망의 등불이 되어 온 인류를 밝히는 개면은 새 역사의 아침이 밝아왔습니다. 천일국 11년 이제 10년 한돌기를 마치고 다시 출발하는 이 해에 창조주 하늘 부모님의 꿈 소원이 참 부모와 함께 지상에서 실체적으로 섭리를 펼쳐 나가게 되는 이루 형연할 수 없는 설렘과 기쁨과 환희가 가득 찬이 계면은 검은 토끼의 해 토끼처럼 부지런하고 다산하는 이 영리한 가장 사람들이 함부로 대할 수 없는 사랑하는 동물인 이해 특히 검은색은 
모든 빛을 다 함축합니다 태양의 열을 받으면 받을수록 그 따뜻함, 따사함은 누구도 부정을 못할 것입니다 그 말은 지난해에 부족했던 불미스러운 모든 것은 물러가고 새롭게 하늘 부모님을 중심하고 모든 면에서 포용하고 품을 수 있는 통일의 축복과정, 천보과정이 되어서 하늘 앞에, 인류 앞에 승리자로서 자랑하는 존경받는 여러분 모두 축복 가정들이 되기를 바랍니다 그리하여 하늘 부모님의 환경권 직접 치리하시는 환경권의 중심에 있는 이 나라 신통일한국이 되어야 되겠죠? 그러기 위해서는 여러분 모두가 한마음 한뜻으로 하늘 부모님의 꿈을 실체적으로 이루어드리는 효자 효녀가 되기를 부탁합니다 What a wonderful message from True Mother. So enjoyable. And I could sit here and listen to her all day and just read the words that she puts forth for each of us. At this time, in realizing True Parents' dream, we're going to hear from each of the other uh, participants that are on the program today. We are going to start with Dr. Luan Rouse, who is the national co-chairman of the American Clergy Leadership Conference, and let us welcome him at this time. Thank you, and good morning to everyone. Uh, as True Mother has said, those who are filial sons and daughters, and those who have the potential to be, who must make up their mind now to be with God forevermore. Thank you, Dr. Ki-Hoon Kim, for this invitation. Marie and I, we love you, love Mrs. Kim. You're in our prayers always, and we greatly appreciate you. Dr. Edwards, thank you for your outstanding MC representation of God. We appreciate your introduction. It is an honor to be here today to discuss the power of world Christian leadership for longevity and prosperity. As we all know, the world is facing many challenges from poverty and inequality to climate change and global conflict. To address these issues, we must come together as a global community and work together to create a better future. The World Christian Leadership Conference is a great opportunity to do just that. In fact, it is the greatest on earth today. By bringing together Christian leaders from around the world, we can share our experiences, learn from each other, and develop strategies to tackle the challenges we face. We can also use this platform to promote peace and understanding between different cultures and religions. The power of world Christian leadership 
is imminent and it is immense. By harnessing this power, we can create a more prosperous and sustainable future for all. We can use this platform to create a more equitable and just world where everyone has access to the resources we need to strive. We can also use this platform to promote peace and understanding between the different cultures and religion. I believe that the World Christian Leadership Conference is a great opportunity to bring together Christian leaders from around the world and work together to create a better future. I am confident that by harnessing the power of world Christian leadership, we can create a more prosperous and sustainable future for all. So I join you today to thank God Almighty. I join you today to say from the depths of our sincere hearts, thank you, Heavenly Parent. You are the Almighty God, thanks to true parents, most specifically, the woman in charge, Dr. Hachahan Moon. Marie and I lift our eyes as disciples of Jesus Christ, asking the Son of God to have mercy on all of us who have fallen short, that we may rise victorious this year. As True Mother has stated, this year of the Black Rabbit, and make sure that we fulfill the hope and fruitfulness as people of God. Let's go, World Christian Leadership Conference. Let's unite like we've never done before, and let's do the work of Almighty God, our Heavenly Parent. Glory, hallelujah. Wonderful, Dr. Rouse. Thank you so much. Such a wonderful message. And now we will, and I will introduce to you Archbishop Solange Lewis, who is the co-president of the American Clergy Leadership Conference and the national co-chair of the Women in Ministry. Let's welcome her at this time. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Tanya, to Dr. Kim and to all esteemed leader this morning, indeed I am happy and blessed to be here. And so there is a task before us and the task is identifying the mother of peace with the theme, the year to realize heavenly parents dream. The challenges we face today world are complex involving spiritual, social, economic, and political consideration. They are inclusive of the ongoing global uncertainty caused by the pandemic and the challenges we have been wrestling with over the years. We need focus that will bring us to learn again to make the human connection real and necessary for all to deal with our plethora of problems that we may create a heavenly, healthier global society. Today, as we gather on this social platform, we stand in agreement, I'm sure, before the throne of grace, Bring in our prayers, our petition, and our intercession before the grace and the for God for the World Christian Leadership Conference. We embrace our vulnerability of human, accept our realization to the only power broker, which is God, the Almighty God. We have a fierce loyalty to declare that we are connecting the role of WCLC to identifying our mother of peace, the only mother of peace with the theme, the year to realization, to realize every Paris dream. 
today as we united force World Christian Leadership Conference are working to a seventy parent dream. We are stride by stride with our mother of peace in her moment of hope where she states that centered on heavenly parents, you will become a united blessed family, the chamber couple that can new cherish and embrace people in all situation and that you ultimately become blessed family that are respected and spoken of with pride, victor in front of heaven and all humankind. This call to duty, and I mean this call to duty by our parents is to everyone involved in this season of evolution, regardless of our generation, this call must be laid by political and ecclesiastical leadership. And everyone leader in our society, we must join hands, children of God. We must join hands, work with the world for the benefit of all, setting aside all our differences. Today, we come with boldness and courage, trusting that God's will alone be the inspiration that will motivate us to action. WCLC will maintain the unity. WCLC will maintain the bond of peace. Thank you and may heaven bless you always. Thank you, Archbishop Lewis. And now I bring to you Dr. Mark Abernathy, who is a senior pastor of the Connect Point Christian Center in Snellville, Georgia, and the co-president of the ACLC, American Christian Leadership Conference. Let's welcome him at this time. Hello, great family. This is a great moment for me to speak on the heavenly united world that we're trying to build. Uh, when I first came in contact with True Parents, this was back in the late 80s. My wife and I had traveled to Korea. We experienced something there that we felt like would bring hope to our world. And that was the bringing together of the family through the blessing. This was an amazing experience that I've never heard of before. But as our life began to evolve and as we begin to spend more time in understanding who True Parents were, I realized that this was the only hope that I seen for our world is to bring together the families and the world to unify them as one family under God. We didn't realize this true hope until around 2010, uh, 2012, that area of uh, a few years back when my daughter experienced this blessing uh, along with us as I seen their life evolve and how this transformed their life and how it transformed my grandson and all uh, the family of our lives. It has been an amazing experience. We have just jumped on board with this blessing. We have been blessing everybody we see. We want everybody to know about this. And those that we have come in contact with through this blessing, we are now unified as a, as a family of God. We're talking and communicating together. I've got people from all over the world that is coming and wanting to know how they can come together and unify with us. True Mother is doing an amazing job to bring together the church. And we as Christians need to uh, engage ourselves and realize that there is hope now through the marriage of the blessing, there's hope in unifying the Christian churches and the world together as one family under God. 
I encourage each one of you to engage your communities and those around you with this amazing message that True Parents is trying to uh, get us to engage. Mother is working very hard to bring together the world through finances and through uh, building the heavenly kingdom in Korea and also what she's doing in America for us. I encourage you all to engage this with everything that's in you. Love you all. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Dr. Abernathy. And now I bring to you Bishop Nancy Rosario, who is the senior pastor of the Church of God's Children in Bronx, New York. Let's welcome her. Greetings to everyone this morning. Um, it is a pleasure and a blessing to be a, a part of WCLC and all its efforts that it does. And for some reason, every time I'm asked to speak, I always follow Reverend, Dark, Reverend Mark Abernathy. It's always been like a commonality, <laughs> but I thank God for that. But um, I have to say that, you know, what WCLC is dedicating all its efforts for the realization of peace and the reunification of North and South Korea. And, you know, unification shall be achieved through peaceful means and not through the use of force against each other. And that has been their history, Mother and Father Moon, peace. It is a paradox where peace can only be achieved through the work of the Holy Spirit's guidance in our lives. We are called to bear good fruit. Good fruit is that which proceeds from God. It is the fruit of the Holy Spirit's overshadowing. It is the evidence of Christ within us. And good fruit only comes from the tree of life. We must be branches of this tree, which is Christ. Worldly good stems from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Knowing good and evil as we do in our fallen state and doing the good we seek is not the good fruit that the Lord speaks of. Worldly good comes from the wrong tree and those who eat of it are not saved, they are deceived. And this has been their teaching all along. To realize heavenly parents dream means we cannot save people by offering worldly fruit. It is the trick of the devil. We must come out of, these, uh, out of this system of man and onto Christ, the tree of life. So do not be deceived. We are to bear the fruit of life, Christ within us. Not religiously knowing, not religiously having knowledge about God that we've obtained from the other tree. WCLC exists to bring back family values, which consist of self-compassion, to have empathy and kindness towards others, to assume responsibility, to have honesty, to have integrity, to implement and respect boundaries, to have family time, but most of all, to have perseverance as it has been true of the true parents. This is the year 2023. Number 20 is a sign of balance, of harmony. It symbolizes the perfect balance between mind, body, and spirit. Number 23, represents change, progress, and innovation. Number 23 signifies new beginnings, revolution, and transformation. This number pattern holds a lot of positive energy and it signifies spiritual growth. 2023 will prove to be a significant year to realize heavenly parents' dream. And it real, realizing the dreams consists of not having that tunnel vision. It consists of seeing with the eyes of faith. It is to see that God is at work, not only in our daily life, but also in the arena of battlefields, city streets, states, nations. No matter where we are or what impossible circumstances we face, we can look beyond our short-sighted fears to see those who are with us and to rest in the certainty that the God who is with us is far greater than anyone who is against us. WCLC and Mother Moon True parents have has every God-given intention to proceed with a wide, broad vision of peace and harmony. Open our eyes, Lord, so that we can see you. Give us the vision to see your power at work in our lives and in our world. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Bishop Nancy Rosario. And I want to bring to you at this time Mboni Dr. Radebe. He is the founder of the Revelation Spiritual Home and chairman of the Interreligious Association for Peace and Development of the IAPD. Let us please welcome him at this time. 
esteemed guests, our beloved True Mother, Dr. Hak Chahang Moon, Dr. Ki Hoon Kim, all protocol observed. I would like to begin by first wishing each and every one of you a happy and prosperous new year. I would also like to extend my vote of thanks to everyone who took time to participate in today's webinar. It is also a humbling experience to address an audience of esteemed religious leaders from around the world. Being a leader in any sector is one of the most difficult yet fulfilling tasks entrusted to an individual, either by the creator or by humanity. Thus, it is a role that should never be taken lightly. I would like to touch on a few points today based on today's topic, the year to realize your parents' heavenly dream. Co-dependency is the foundation of humanity because we all possess unique gifts. We were all designed to rely on one another. A few days ago, I had a meeting with my youth academy and I shared with them a quote I received whilst I was deep in meditation. Life is a journey where good and evil both exist, and you must decide which path to take. This quote stems from how we as individuals tend to underestimate the power of choice, whether good or bad. I also shared with them that it is important to never forget the purpose of their spiritual journey, because it is only through the purpose that they will appreciate and travel the journey with confidence. True Mother's purpose has been and continues to be to unite people of various spiritual and religious backgrounds from all corners of the world in pursuit of a shared goal, world peace. The qualities of True Mother are remarkable and it is evident that although she is traveling this path, she has not lost her purpose and my fellow leader is no wondering why True Mother and her message resonate with each of us who have decided to join hands with her. Therefore, we as individuals and as spiritual and religious leaders should instill these qualities in the people we have been entrusted to guide. I am an indigenous spiritual leader and guider from Africa. And it is my spiritual obligation to spread the message that diversity is a positive thing that helps us learn from one another and fosters prosperity and peace in the world. Therefore, I implore all of you, my fellow leaders, to adopt the same mentality. Because until we comprehend and accept that we are different and that in our differences there is commonalities, that we should focus on to realize the heavenly goal, we can never reach the peace and harmony we so desperately need. My fellow brothers and sisters, leaders, I thank you very much. May our creator bless all of you. Thank you, Mboni, Dr. Radebe, thank you so much. And I am going to ask my friend, Reverend Dr. Suman Kim, who is the co-chairman of the Korean Clergy Leadership Conference, KCLC, and the pastor of the Jesus Love Church in Seoul, Korea. Let's welcome him. Thank you so much, Dr. Kyun Kim, our leader, and uh, all our WCLC leaders. Thank you so much. Today, I will talk about the role of WCLC for reunification of Korean Peninsula. The unification of Korean Peninsula is a heavenly parents' dream. By Satan's power, humans constantly go against heavenly parents' dream. These are two main factors that hinder the reunification of Korean Peninsula. First, 
There are people in the South Korea who do not want the reunification of the Korean Peninsula. These are people who are tired of the 70 years since the Korean Peninsula was divided. And it is young people who do not feel the importance of reunification very much. They are people who have become accustomed to living as the North and, and the South are divided. Second, the great powers outside of the Korean Peninsula actually do not want the reunification of the Korean Peninsula. These great power countries want the situation of the Korean Peninsula to remain as it is now. These super powers do not want because the balance of power on the Korean Peninsula to be disturbed by reunification. They are using the Korean Peninsula for the benefits of their own countries. Under this circumstance, the WCLC should earnestly desire and pray to heavenly parents for reunification of the Korean Peninsula. When Jesus healed a man who was invalid 38 years, Jesus first asked him, do you want to be healed? Do you want to heal? Heavenly parents asked to us, do you want to do the unification of the Korean Peninsula? We must answer clearly to heavenly parents. Yes, we want to reunification of the Korean Peninsula. We WCLC should pray fervently to heavenly parents. Dear WCLC, men and woman of God, please pray to God with a sincere heart for the reunification of the Korean Peninsula. In such a situation, we must call out to the people, heavenly parents will and dream for the reunification of the Korean Peninsula and the urgency and the necessity of reunification. Even if everyone is exhausted, we WCLC should not be exhausted at the very opportunity, or at every opportunity, let us call out to the people for the reunification of the Korean Peninsula. Let's create an opportunity to shout to the people about unification of the Korean Peninsula. The unification of the Korean Peninsula is heavenly parents dream. I believe it. We must have believed this. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, Reverend Dr. Sumon Kim. What a wonderful message from Korea. And now we are at the time we want to hear our announcements. And that would be from Reverend Bruce Grodner, Grodner the, Secretary the Secretary General of the World, of the World Christian World. Leaders Conference. Good day, everyone. Um, I just have a few announcements. I just wanted to mention uh, that regularly uh, we have a, a WCLC in Canada every every second Tuesday, and uh, there's a also in, oh, in uh, Africa, Africa. There, there is a, on Sunday, February twelfth, an African Spiritual Day. I believe that's a day that all of Africa kind of uh, celebrates, and we'll be having a very special program on that day. So uh, we'll be zooming into that as well. And just uh, our next webinar, if you like this one, and, uh, and I'm sure you did, and the incredible, uh, uh, illustrious uh, steering committee are, are doing uh, incredible things to really bring us together. And uh, so we really 
I want to say thank you to them for today, but also uh, each month uh, we're having different topics, uh, different speakers, and the next one will be Wednesday, February 22nd, and uh, that's 2023, not 2022, but uh, we really uh, welcome everyone to join that, and we want to uh, uh, continue, and, and uh, let's uh, stay tuned for further, uh, further details and announcements that will be coming shortly. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Grodner. And at this time, I just want to thank each one of the steering committee members uh, to, for your participation and the enjoyment of listening to your messages. And last but not least, we are going to hear remarks and closing prayer, a message from Pastor T.L. Barrett, the senior pastor of Life Center Church of God in Christ in Chicago, Illinois. Let's welcome Pastor T.L. Barrett. Thank you so much, Reverend Tanya Edwards, Mrs. Barrett's favorite preacher. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> blessings to Dr. Kim and to all of the members of all of our families. I am always honored and humbled to be in your presence, whether it's in physical proximity or virtual reality because I know the divinity of your identity, and that is God. I am in the midst of God. Uh, and it bothers me when I hear people saying, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be, and we'll be in the presence of God. No, we are in the presence of God when we're in the presence of each other, because there is no spot where God is not. And I think that uh, our true mother, her heart needs to be encouraged and supported by all of the families that she and our true father gave providential birth to under the, of the banner of WCLC, but I call them the LC families. We have the ACLC, we have the KCLC, and we have the YCLC, and I think that to bless their hearts and their spirits and their souls so that they continue to bring forth what God is sending to us through them, that we must be supportive of each other's missions. And we can be supportive of each other's missions if we do not realize the importance of each other's missions. So uh, our time is out, but let me just say, continue to support, especially that YCLC. Let's support our youth because um, many of us like uh, Archbishop Stallings, he's already uh, retired. I will be retiring this year coming up next year. I'll be in ministry 55 years at one church. We've got to invest in our youth, the YCLC and the foresight of our spiritual uh, true parents gave them to us. So let's nurture them as we support each other and comfort and bless the heart and soul of our true parents. And now, dear God, we thank you so much for our family. Thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for our true parents. Thank you for Dr. Kim, who is so much to all of us. And we pray, dear God, that we will move forward in power and in purpose in your name. And we will build one family under God, adieu and amen. Adieu and thank you everyone for being on the call with us today. God and we so look forward to seeing you next month, February's webinar. God bless each and every one of you. God bless. God bless. God bless. Thank you. 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 Thank you.